So it appears I made a massive boo-boo in my video about what happened in the Black Monday bombings, or rather, who was responsible for them. So I'll hold my hands up and hope to put right the misinformation that formed in my brain by discussing the Council of Mankind sessions, the Banshee comic, and whether that comic displays what really happened during Black Monday, or whether it's just a story inside a story, if, if that makes sense. Uh, there will be spoilers in this video, so please, if you haven't played the game and you want to, switch this video off now. Okay, let's get into it. So I previously explained the Banshee comic and that General Buran was the man responsible for the Black Monday bombings. It turns out I was miles off. At the time of making that video, I hadn't yet found the recordings of the Council of Mankind, and they blew my theory out of the water. Completely. Here's what really happened. So in March of 2023, Villador has been declared the last remaining bastion of civilization. As a result, the Council of Mankind is formed, which consists of the world leaders who are left, basically. We can hear from their first session on the 21st of March 2023 that the Council consists of the Party of Nations. This is what was said in that first session. Ladies, gentlemen, it is my honour to open the first session of the Council of Mankind. Tuesday, the 21st of March, 2023, in Villador. The Council consists of the Party of Nations. Vice President Dmytro Klarpovsky replacing the critically ill President of Russia. France's Minister for External Affairs, Bastien Dacan. Sweden's Minister for External Affairs, Eva Trenat. First interim head of state after the coup d'etat in Italy, Sergio Esposito. The new Chancellor of Germany, Olga Radke. And the Councillor of New Britain, created after Scotland's departure from the United Kingdom, William Hughes, in my humble person. Condolences on the death of the Queen, Councillor. The GRE is represented by GRE Chief Medical Officer Katsumi Kobayashi and the army by the Commander-in-Chief, General Pratt. Dear Council, the world is falling apart. Over two million people die every day in Europe alone, and we- <coughs> Mr. Hughes, can we skip ahead? We are all exhausted from our journeys. Some of us have had to travel over four days to reach Villador. Very well. Dr. Kobayashi, what is the city status? So far, the infection seems to remain under control here in Villador. We've had a few isolated cases, but strict quarantine and containment protocols have slowed the spread of the virus. We plan to build humanitarian aid centers and safe corridors for the transport of food and drugs. Please provide a detailed roadmap for all this tomorrow morning. I am proposing we enact a regulation governing the relationship between the GRE and the Army. General. The French Ministry of External Affairs will assist you in drafting such a proposal. That will not be necessary. My people could... That will be all, General Pratt. Next order of business. So it seems that some of the world leaders were able to survive the fall and the worldwide THV outbreak and managed to make it to Villador. As you heard from the tape, GRE head Dr. Katsumi Kobayashi was present, as well as General Pratt. You'll also have heard that the virus was actually under control in Villador, with anyone displaying symptoms being quarantined immediately. And what's important from this recording is that the council demanded that the working relationship between the GRE and the military be governed by the council. General Pratt objected but was overruled, and you will see why General Pratt objected later on. Now onto the second tape. The council have been meeting for a few months now and, well, things are starting to unravel. Take a listen. Tuesday. The 17th of July, 2023. We hereby begin the 17th session of the Council of Mankind. As you are all aware, the global situation is degrading rapidly. We have several reports confirming Pakistan did indeed drop a nuclear bomb on the Indian region of Jammu. Entire countries are being declared lost to the virus. Hungary, Croatia, Portugal, Austria, Finland, and... The British Prime Minister died of THV last week. Ladies and gentlemen, we must face the facts. It is the responsibility of those of us in this room to start a new chapter for humankind. 
As history shows, it would not be the first time that international cooperation pulled the world from crisis. You are in a fine mood today, Minister Dakar. General Pratt, we would like to hear your report now. At once, Monsieur Dakar. Agricultural facilities and warehouses are being seized, and the main distribution hub is being managed by the GRE under the watchful eye of the Army. The Army's cooperation with the GRE has so far been exemplary. I concur. Thank you, Dr. Kobayashi. We control the streets and checkpoints in the area. We've secured electrical substations and water towers. Despite initial opposition from workers, we finally managed to convert the former Dynamo Cars, the electric car factory, into a solar power plant. Now, please, Dr. Kobayashi, we would like to hear the progress on the GRE initiatives. Thank you. The first tests of the THV GenMod compound were successful. It shows unparalleled chemical stability, and its ability to degrade the DNA of infected cells is remarkable. We may finally have a key weapon against the virus within reach. No time to delay, Dr. Kobayashi. Please, provide samples to the Army. We'll do our own tests. It's too soon for that. Research takes time. I submit a motion for the GRE to provide the Army with THV GenMod samples and submit to military supervision over the GRE itself. General Pratt, History shows rushing science leads to catastrophe. There are people who... General Pratt is right, Dr. Kobayashi. Extreme situations call for extreme measures. I accept the motion for the handover of the current GenMod component samples to Army Research Labs. Dr. Kobayashi, you will help General Pratt move forward with a weapon concept using your compound as a basis. Who is for? Thank you. Who is against? Thank you. Who abstains? Thank you. The motion has been passed by five to three votes. Dr. Kobayashi, please begin the necessary procedures. So Dr. Katsumi was mentioning the strides they'd taken in producing the THV Gen mod, the compound she considered a key weapon against the virus. Like clockwork, as you heard, General Pratt butts in and demands that she hand over all research despite it not being ready yet. Now this echoes what happened in the Banshee comic, where General Baran states that he is tired of waiting for the THV gen mod to be finished, so he demands the scientist hand over all of her research. Sounds very similar to what's happening in these council sessions. As you heard, the council did actually side with General Pratt. Not only that, but General Pratt pushes further and demands that the military have total control over the GRE. Pratt has an agenda, and he's determined to push it. Anyway, moving on, tape three. The 9th of June. 2024. We hereby begin the 52nd session of the... Minister, what's going on? I have shut off all power at the VNC Tower. The people of this city must not know the full extent of the virus outbreaks. Is this some kind of joke, General? Wait. You knew about it, Klapowski, didn't you? Do you want panic? A coup d'etat? We cannot lose control of the city. Why do you think the other council members were arrested? We need to speed up work on the THV Gen Mod and have it ready for use. The Gen Mod is not ready. You know that we have discovered highly dangerous side effects, right? The GRE does not recommend- Silence, Katsumi. In other news, a massive influx of migrants from Asia have massed the city gates in recent weeks. Tens of thousands of people. And the second largest camp in Europe, located in Greece, has collapsed. Its refugees are heading here as well. <sighs> God. Thankfully, we've reinforced the new walls, and we suppressed the most recent THV outbreak. This is the last resort, General. These are families with kids. Humans like us. Remember? The Council of Mankind? The protocol states that... Spare me, Kobayashi. It's too late for all that crap. The GRE is becoming villain. At least that's what the people are starting to think more and more each day. You're pitting them against us, General! Nonsense. I am merely stating a fact. This is a travesty. A travesty! As mentioned in my last video with the virus out of control in Villador and unrest brewing, desperate to control things, the military, under the orders of General Pratt, shut down all the power stations and shut off the VNC tower transmitter, 
with the idea being that the citizens in Villador wouldn't be able to know the full extent of the outbreak. And this transmitter being shut off led to the Night Runners attempting to switch it back on years later, and, well, we all know what happened there. Dr. Katsumi mentions the side effects referenced in the Banshee comic book, and much like the scientist in the comics, she objects, but again, is overruled. Given that the Council of Mankind sessions actually did take place in Villador, and that you are able to find pages from the Banshee comic book in various places in the city, confirms to me that General Pratt was responsible for giving the order for Black Monday, and the Banshee comic book was produced by someone who had perhaps heard the council recordings and based it on those. And we all know what happened next. The Black Monday bombings took place and changed Villador forever. If you want to see my original video on the Black Monday bombings, look up there. And lastly, I mentioned earlier in the video that General Pratt objected to the governing of the working relationship between the GRE and the military. This is because he wanted to use the GRE as a scapegoat, as mentioned in Dr. Katsumi's reports. The riots have gotten out of control. Rumors have begun to spread, reminding the population that the GRE was responsible for the virus in the first place. Someone is distributing defamatory flyers. Some of my colleagues suspect the army. Can't believe it, but... Pratt has cut off communications with the GRE. It appears the military has decided to use the GRE as a scapegoat for all this turmoil. But maybe I'm wrong. I hope I am. There she is! She's one of those murdering doctors too! Stop! Stop! What are you doing? Shut the hell up, murderer! You're about to get some of your own medicine. You're making a mistake. I'm trying to help. If you blame science, we're all going to die. General Pratt was successful in his deflection tactic, however, and although the GRE were technically responsible for the downfall of civilization and got what they deserved, this ultimately led to angry mobs of citizens murdering GRE doctors and scientists. And just like that, anyone capable of researching a cure or a vaccine was dead. Way to go, Villador. But that's ultimately it for this video. If you did enjoy this one, please leave a like and subscribe to the channel if you're not already. Leave a comment below on your thoughts, but for now, take care and I will see you in the next one.